All right, everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my match play event with Ellie Slama. If you didn't watch part one, Ellie golfs at Oregon State, which I'm representing today because I knew I'd be playing with her. Um, she finished tied for ninth at the US Am this year, and she's just a stud. So we are doing three part series here, three parts, six holes each, mat, uh, each video. On part one through six, Ellie is three up on me. <laughs> And remember, she's giving me no strokes, too. That's the other thing. Yeah. So she's three up. Here we are. We're about to tee off on hole seven. Ellie, three up. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 360-yard par four. Uh, driver is going to be a question because then it's a dog left, but it, the second shot goes all uphill. You can't see the green from here. So uh, challenging but short hole. Oh, plays it so good. Oh, perfectly up the right side. Going to give you a great look. Very good shot. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's over. Very good. Slow man. That scared me. I, I didn't think carrying that bunker was going to be an issue at all. Wow. Just right of the hole, very good. Excellent. Yeah, just left side of the green, darn it. Oh, I didn't hit it. That is just a joke. That is so bad. That first one so badly. <laughs> All right, so 350 yard par four. Ellie's three up now because of my beautiful three putt there. And, but this is all uphill folks. This plays way longer. Oh, so good, and way to be on the right side. Oh, right on the right side of the fairway. That is beautiful. Close to what I wanted. That's, so That's good. <laughs> good try. I think that Ellie four up. I think so. Ellie four up after eight. I was hoping to do better. I'm playing like garbage. Uh. All right, hole number nine, 210 yard par three, downhill. But uh, we've been commenting today, it's quite cold. It probably hasn't gotten above 40 degrees, do you think? No, definitely not. Yeah, for you, my European friends, that's probably about five degrees for you. Ellie with honors. I like it if it gets there. A little short. Great swing though. We're hitting into a nice wind I noticed just now. No, we are. You feel that? That plus the cold. 
and it's so cold. <laughs> really? I don't Hang know if you look at all those triangles. I feel like that would All right, so making the turn here through uh, nine holes. Ellie is, <laughs> there she is. She is uh, four up, right? Yep. Four up. Now, Ellie, neither of us are really playing that. Not very well. Right, yeah. No. So, but this is the way I got to see it. If she's dialed in and playing like great, and I'm dialed and playing great, she's still four up. So either way, Ellie's four up at the turn. We're going to take a deep breath here at, at the turn and hit the reset button. We're gonna go super low, the back nine. Sounds good. All right. I like that. All right, so we're taking another break from the action. And this time, I wanted to talk about your experience at the USAM. Uh, you played at the USAM. You played quite well. You, you started off really great. Talk to me about that experience. And where and where was it this year and all that? Yeah, it was in Maryland. And it was quite the process to get out there. We. It was an invitation-based tournament this year due to COVID. Of COVID, yeah. And so we were tested twice. We were tested once before we flew out there and then once when we got there. And we were in like a bubble similar to like how the NBA did it. Um, right. We went to our hotel, to the golf course, and that was it. And they had food for us. I was only allowed to bring a caddy and a guest. So I brought my dad as my caddy and my right. mom as my guest. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. Played a phenomenal golf course. And... Just had a really fun time. Actually, Obama, that's Obama's golf course. Oh, really? So that was wow. kind of cool. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's close to Washington, D.C. Yeah, so right. I didn't think of it, but then yeah. one of the pros there said that he taught Obama for a few years. So, so uh, you had some matches. I won't make you mention the players or anything, but you won, what, your first two, three matches? Three, yeah. Three matches. Mm -hmm. And then you ran into a buzzsaw there on that four. Yeah. But you finished tied ninth. Mm -hmm. in the nation at the usam that yeah. is spectacular thank you it was super fun and my last match was with one of my good friends Aaliyah. so that oh, was really? yeah i played with her quite a few times she plays for usc so we run into each other okay. a lot yeah so Ellie slama for birdie and three oh what do you know a little pac-12 battle here oregon state usc you actually took one of the questions from me. I'm gonna, so I'll ask you that. I, I, we were ready to be done, but I'll ask you one more. Do you develop a lot of relationships with some of the top amateurs around the country? Yeah, and, definitely. And even, what about some girls that have even since gone ahead of you and gone pro or yet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite a few. I feel like it's it's easy to make those relationships in college golf because you're traveling to the same tournaments as you know all the Pac-12 schools go every every tournament together, and so you see the same girls, you play with the same teams. So the, it is really cool to see. You know, like I had a friend in junior golf yell at me no, and she's now playing on the LPGA Tour and just finished top 10 in the U.S. Open. So it's it's amazing to see that kind of thing happen, and you're like, yeah, I know them. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. All right, well, we're going to go back to our match where Ellie is most decidedly kicking my boot. All right, this is a fun hole. 418-yard par four, downhill. Again, dog leg left. That's a greenside bunker way down there. You just can't see the green. Ellie, I said earlier, had honors. No, she doesn't have honors. She owns the tee. <laughs> God, you just keep playing that nice baby draw right down the pipe. Got down the hill? Yes. Really? That's going to be really good. There 
it, there might be a trap in the front. I'm not wild about it. <laughs> All right, uh, 350 yard par four, really short, but boy, that fairway gets narrow. So this is a ch way more challenging hole than the yardage would indicate. Ellie's got driver in hand. Hang on. Oh, excellent. Drive. I've got 150 yards in. The flag is way over there. I'm going to try and shape a shot. Something I'm not that good at. Oh, make the branch, but that was close to what I wanted. Darn it. Finish on that, Scotty. Thank you. Look at that. I got this at Salem Golf Club when I was 11 years old, and I've used it ever since. 190 yard par four, but there is an issue uh, flooding standing water that goes across the whole fairway, and we're having a really hard time dialing in how far out that standing water is. So we're going to try and figure that out and then figure out what to hit off the tee here. Ellie is now five up on me, which is not great. But you know what is great? This view of the Willamette River. Oh, yes, please. Ooh, hang on. Just a little left. Hit some trees, it appears. Back to the river. Just spectacular. Well, that is the conclusion of part two of our three part series. We are now through 12 holes and Ellie Sloma is five up, five up on me, eh, which is okay. So she's five up through 12. 
If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click a comment, but make a comment below. Tell me what you think of Ellie's game. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. Um, maybe make sure and smash that like button. Now, uh, we're gonna go to part three. Make sure you check out part three and we will have the conclusion of this epic match. Can I close the gap with six holes to go? Can I even just narrow the gap so this is a more respectable defeat? <laughs> to Ellie Slama, one of the best <laughs> amateurs in the nation for women. She's unbelievable. All right, everybody, make sure you check out part three.